Carlos Alcaraz versus Felix Ojeda Yassim. It's the first semi-final for the Men's Olympics for 2024. Both guys have had interesting roads to get to this stage. Ojeda Yassim entered the tournament as the 13th seed. We'll take on Giron in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straights. 6-1-6-4. In the second round, he take on Matera. And again, no problem getting through in straights. 6 love 6 1. In the third round, he take on the number four seed, Medvedev, who'd had some real battles against over the years. And after a close second set, he gets through in straights. 6 3 7 6. In the quarterfinals, he take on Kasper Ruud, the number six seed, a man who'd been very good at this venue over the last few years. And after dropping the second set, he'd fight to win 6 4 6 7 6 3 to advance to the semi finals. Algaraz entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Habib in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 3 6 1. In the second round, he take on Grigspor. And after a close second set, would get through in straights. 6 1 7 6. In the third round, he take on Safulan, who had taken out Tabillo and Echeverry along the way. This is no problem for Alcaraz again getting through in straights. 6 4 6 2. In the quarterfinals, he take on Tommy Paul, the number 9 seed, who he'd had some real battles against in the past. And after going down a break in the second, he'd fight back to win 6 3 7 6 to advance to the semi finals. These guys have played six times before with the head to head split down the middle 3 3. However, Alcaraz has won their last three matches, including a match at this year's French Open in the fourth round, where he got through in straight sets, but Ojeda Yassim in that match was injured. It's a little bit hard to judge if Ojeda Yassim is going to play like that in this match that he's healthy. If FAA is going to win this one, he's going to have to be aggressive and use variety because we know that's what Alcaraz does so well on the clay and just in general. So he's going to have to do that a little bit himself. He is a bit more of a defensive type player, it seems, especially on the clay courts. Maybe that Uncle Tony influence. He's got to kind of throw that at the window when he plays Alcaraz. Otherwise, Alcaraz is going to chew him up. Alcaraz is going to win this one. Just do what he was doing a couple of months ago at the French Open. He's also won this year at Indian Wells. So two slow courts and both going to Alcaraz in straight sets. So he's just going to play that game that got him those two wins. And again, be aggressive. Do all those things that he does to get these wins. Really interesting matchup. Of course, OFAA was up three love in this head-to-head -head until recent times. But I have to go with Alcaraz in this one in three sets. I think Felix will get a set, maybe sneak the first set out. But I just think Alcaraz at this court, on this court, on the clay, is just so, so good. And he's going to make the final of the Olympics. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is making the final?